So <clears throat> we'll start with the configuration wizard, PW report, stash configure. And we make sure that no target compiler is selected for this case. So, and for C, target compiler, again, for C++, and again, for Fortran. And the next demo on FMBTLS, we will use a, a target compiler, but for now, for Newcore, we use the compiler agnostic mode, so no target compiler. Um, we start, as always, with a screening report. In this case, we are analyzing four files at once, uh, MTC patch, MTC, OpenMP, and MTC main. And here we have the screening result. Uh, so five checks for uh, the MTC and five checks for MTC OpenMP which are related to quality for both of these files. So these are not checks uh, directly related to performance improvements, but rather to uh, quality of the code. And if we want to see them, we follow the suggestion to um, run the checks report. We copy and paste it. Uh, sorry, it's this one. And here we have the, the five checks for one of the files, the MTC, and five checks for the MTC OpenMP. In this case, these, um, these checks are not very variable, uh, valuable. Um, and let's find out why. Uh, why are not uh, reported, for example, opportunities for multi-threading, offloading, and here we can see that 43 loops could not be analyzed. And to get more information, we can run PW loops non-analyzable, as we did uh, with the previous demos. And here we have uh, four main issues and support of flank feature. Um, Cody uses the flank uh, front end internally. So whenever flank does not support a feature that um, uh, affects Cody detection capability. So in this case, polymorphic types. Um, so in order to solve this, um, we are going to apply of um, outlining as we did for CPIC. In this case, we have them prepared. So we don't do this manual uh, editing of the source file now but we have them prepared in the folder split. Yeah, here are the versions. And if we do the screening of these versions, now we see uh, that more checks are reported. And now if we go to PDI report non-analyzable again, so we see what is happening because we still uh, don't have offloading, multi-threading, or vectorization checks. So with, to see what's happening, we go to the report to see what are the reasons behind these non-analyzable loops. And here we have 12. Uh, cases of unsupport usage of the different uh, shape array. So in this case, it is not a, um, an F, a flang issue. In this case, it's a Cody issue that we are not supporting yet the different shape arrays of Fortran. So in order to solve this, we have to change the the usage of these arrays, the declarations. And the folder adapt, we leave the, the solutions for you. So we don't, we don't have to manually edit them uh, now. Uh, adapt. And we proceed with a screening report over the 
MTC contract simple file. And now we have one opportunity of for multi-threading, for vectorization, and offloading. Uh, we proceed with the checks report as is suggested at the bottom of the output, always from the screening report. And here we have the opportunities or for offloading, for multi-threading, and a remark of vectorization. And now we can increase the velocity level by following the first suggestion. So now we are seeing that code is reporting us that the code can be multi can be optimized with multi-threading of off or offloading. But now we want to see what are the PW directives invocations to apply this pragmas automatically by Cody. So with verbose flag, now we see uh, which are the, the options for automatic uh, rewriting the code from Cody. So for offloading, we have two options. Uh, to, one that uses OpenMP teams and one that uses OpenACC. Uh, in this case, we are going to use uh, first the option with OpenMP. So Peter direct this offload on OMP teams dash O, so we generate a new uh, file uh, and we don't rewrite the same input file. And that's it. The name of the source file, the line number, and the column. And it generated, it basically ap applied this um, pragma to the loop. And now we can do the same for OpenACC. And one, one important thing is that uh, Cody is telling us that we need to complete the access range for variables, OP, SRC, SRC and DST. Done the same for OpenM, OpenACC. So Cody generated a template, but we need to manually rewrite uh, this template to add the array ranges. Um, well, that's it. That's the step-by-step. -step. I can show you the, the code. For example, the adapt. MTC. So here, here is uh, the adapt code after modifying the array declarations. So this way it is support by Cody. And the last version after the application of the directives is as shown here. One P teams. Here we have the the last version of with offloading with OpenMP, and we have to manually insert the array ranges here. In this case, we don't have um, the compilation parameter, parameters for Nucor, so we didn't prepare a launch script. Um, but anyway, you can um, use, this, yeah, use this static analysis tool to optimize the code um, with, without having to compile it and run it uh, at the end.
Excellent. Uh, please allow me to share my screen to give yeah. some additional information briefly. So, uh, first we want to thank uh, the Oritz National Lab teams responsible for Nucor and Tornado applications. This is these are part of the codes that we are working with in our collaborative project with David Berhol's team to improve uh, the capabilities of CODE. And essentially, we are using Nucor here for several things. And here, the collaboration with the community can be uh, very, very valuable. For instance, the Fortran code that uh, Jacob, you are trying to analyze. Let me point out here that if you can report or share with us this information about non-analyzable features. Report, uh, loops will report you the features that are not analyzable, that are not directly responsible of CODI, but depend on the LLVM FLAN project. CODI is now using LLVM 15 and the upstream, the mainstream distribution on the FLAN from 10. So essentially we are testing one of the very latest versions of the FLAN project. So understanding which are the limitations of the FLAN from 10 today and try to run which are the features that are most widely used in projects can be very useful information to guide. Why not the FLAN project, but also for us to understand where we need to put attention to cover with uh, our features the more, the biggest uh, Fortran code base possible. So Nucor is a relatively, is a real example, but with four or five codes. We have also been doing this work with um, Tornado. Due to the complexity of Tornado, we decided not to include this in the, in the, in the, in the labs. But here you can see that you can pass through the screening the whole Tornado application using a compile command decision database, as Jacob, you are doing. And Kodi reports that after analyzing 43,000 lines of code, it identified almost 800 checks related to vectorization, memory, here, and it was around 100 files successfully analyzed and 18 failures in, this, in these codes. The reason for failures, we can diagnose them through PW report non-analyzable and through PW loops analyzable. And look at this, this is very interesting for us because this is ranking the amount of times or different loops or different functions where a particular Fortran feature was encountered. So for instance, if we look at the top four reasons, we can find that in 100 occasions, the first shape arrays are using function definitions. So we need to support that. No definition of function. This is probably related to the lack of modules produced by CODI, so the, complete, the, the file cannot be completed for a particular function. We need to dig deeper what's going on there. Also, 200 times the associate uh, construct of Fortran. And finally, 2,000 times array uh, notation. Somehow in the code, we find 800 checks, so the code can be completely analyzed by Kodi, but there are other parts of the code that are using array notation. So if we are able to produce as a community this kind of reports for different representative applications. What we are trying to do is to sample which are the reasons for why Fortran code is not supported, either by, by a Flang Libyan project, either by CODI, and together we can work to try to serve better the community by implementing those features that appear more frequently. And for realistic codes, real size codes, typically we will get counters in the hundreds or the thousands, depending on the features, the 